morning. Welcome to the new episode. Thank you so much for everybody's support over these last couple of months. Now, I'm just short of 70,000 subscribers and I never thought I'd be at that. I never did. You know what I mean? I'm absolutely buzzing and I'm over the moon. And I've got some very exciting stone to show you. I've been doing it for the last two days, but I've had no space on my phone, so I haven't been able to do it. But I've got a little bit of footage already from today, and I'll take you out and I'll show you the stone which is outside. So follow me and let's go have a look, because this is a big job from a church. So I'll post the church up there, what it was like before. So this is the church. St Mary's Church opened its doors in 1839 after there is a huge demand for a Catholic church in the town of Oldham, where the church was located. It was designed by Matthew Hadfield, the architect behind the Salford Cathedral. The graveyard for the church opened in 1844 and remained open until 1857. Over time, the church has become empty due to lack of attendance and has fallen into a state of disrepair due to vandalism. From them images from the church, it's a beautiful punch face, and it is such a shame that the church has had to come down. But unfortunately, it got damaged in a fire. Well, part of it did, so it's been knocked down. And there is about 200 to 250 tons of stone, and that's what I will be working over the next couple of months. Obviously, I can't do it all in one video, so we'll be breaking it down over the next few months. So stay tuned, and you'll see it in action. And for those who like to follow it on a day to day basis, you can check in with me. On my other socials, which are in, on Instagram, the handle, the Yorkshire Stone Dresser, and on Facebook, the St Yorkshire Stone Dresser. So, because people like to see the day to day basis. And like I say, I do my talks and everything like that. So, if you'd like that, just hop on over there and follow me on there too. But right now, let's go have a look at this stone. You'll be pleasantly surprised, but this is it from behind. Can you see it all there? So that there's been six loads tipped out here. I've already worked one. I'll show you the rest. Let me spin you around. So, as you can see, this is the stone that's come in. There's been six loads tipped there. And in each load, there's about 16, 17 tonne in a load. And the stone is a punched face. Please also bear in mind that the church was built around the 1800s. And all these pieces of stone will have been cut and chiseled and worked all out of big 10 ton blocks and as you can see there's the faces it's absolutely beautiful stone and i really can't wait to work some more of it look at that you know what i mean people from the usa don't normally see this type of stuff they don't really understand what stone dressing is so hopefully with my longer form content i can give you a bit more insight into what it is i do so stay tuned and you'll see more
out the wind, but this is the pallet that I've just packed off. So as you can see, the faces, think how nice they are. But also, just think, how did they do it back then? You know what I mean? So I think these will come out of big massive blocks, probably. I don't know, 10 ton blocks, all split down individually, each piece hand chiselled, hand broken, and then flattened off as well, and then punched. You know, that just shows how much work and effort went into each every individual piece. And then, to course them all as well, so they are running true. As you saw from the pictures before, the church was magnificent, and it is such a shame it's been knocked down. But unfortunately, that's what happens. Well, that's where they got up to. And as you can see, it's changed to pitched face. And pitched face is where the stone protrudes off. So, that's quite interesting, really. Because that's obviously from a different part of the church. So, when I get back, I am looking forward to getting into that. And when I come back in a week and a half's time, this will all be gone there. All that'll be gone and there'll be more of it. So that is it for the end of this one. Apologize for the bad sound. Like I've said before, I'm not a professional video editor. I'm a man with an hammer and a chisel who likes to showcase his work. So if the sound's a bit poor, if the music's not in the right place, I can't help that. All I am is just trying to get myself out there as a person and as a business, then educate people and promote the stone industry. So thank you everybody, if you've took the time to watch this, really appreciate it. Drop me a like, subscribe, a comment, and just really appreciate every single one. So thank you very much and stay tuned till next week.